Hello, this is a, a video on the minimal installation of Kubuntu 1804. The uh, minimal installation just has the base um, stuff for base stuff. It's the uh, base operating system, uh, and it the Kubuntu is the KDE. Plasma version of Ubuntu. Uh, if it was a full installation, it would have all the extra stuff that they like to package, but the basic will just have the browser and some system utilities as we'll go over. So, right now it's loading. It'll take a little bit because it's loading from the disk drive. Here's the welcome screen, and you might notice that there's parts of the screen that are in black. I'm using a virtual machine because my camera isn't um, high enough detail to read what it says, but uh, it should be very similar to, oh, actually pretty much identical. You put the CD in and then you start it. Now uh, you can try Kubuntu. If uh, you're not sure you like want to install it or not, you could try it out from the live CD. It'll just be a little slower than it normally would be because it's running off the DVD drive or CD drive rather than the hard drive. Uh, here, this is about installing it, so I'll install it. This is where you test your keyboard, make sure that the keyboard is correct. You can gives you various layouts and and stuff. This is just the standard American uh, keyboard setup. And then it's uh, we're doing the minimal installation, which is just the web browser plus basic utilities and applications. Uh, it's going to use less memory than the f normal installation, which has all the extras. And we'll install third party software, which is MP3 format, your ability to play MP3s, uh, the ability of the uh, operating system to use your Wi-Fi hardware better um, and also graphics. Uh, if you are sure that you don't need the proprietary or the uh, software from the manufacturer on, ha on operating your Wi-Fi or graphics then you don't need this and if you don't listen to mp3s you don't need this. Okay, this is where it asks you where to install it. If you're using an entire hard drive, it's this right here. Uh, if it recognizes Windows or another operating system that you want to keep, and then you can dual boot, that will allow you to keep your old operating system and try this one. You just choose at when you turn on the TV. When you turn on the computer, you can choose which operating system you want to boot into, but that option isn't here because there is no other operating system on this uh, virtual drive. Okay, here's where you check your uh, time zone. It automatically uh, found mine based on my IP address probably. and. Just make sure it's the right one. You could click various ones. But I'm here. Yeah, not my Mars time though. You can also click on that and doesn't give actual central time zone. I'm not actually in Chicago. Okay, I'll just say Chicago. This is where you s set up the uh, first account that's going to be used on the uh, operating system. 
You can make it your personal account, but it will have administrative rights. Or you can make it a special admin profile. And uh, this is just for the router to uh, show you what, when you check the device is connected to the router, then this is how you can see what devices are on there. And it didn't like that. So Okay, and here is just uh, installing the uh, operating system. It's probably going to be about five, ten minutes, maybe ten minutes on this computer. And if you're okay, the installation is done. So we just need to click the restart button, take the CD out, DVD actually, and then uh, get to reboot. So here's the uh, the login screen, and just uh, put in the password. So we we have logged in. That right there is telling you that you have updates. You close that. And so if you want update it, then you just click the update. They'll open up uh, what they call Discover. That's a software uh, center where you can install applications. You could look for them. You can uh, go back. Application add ons, Plasma add ons. Gives you lots of little choices. That's the stuff that's installed. This gives you the choice of the repositories. If you're just learning, you don't really need to, to be messing with this stuff. You just need to look at the application updates. And normally, updating after installation is one of the first things you want to do, or that I want to do. But uh, this is just showing uh, how to use it and it's going to take a while to update everything uh, maybe half an hour maybe 15 minutes probably 15 minutes so we'll close that for now it has the home and the trash folders on there here's the file manager And it has the uh, start menu in the uh, bottom left. Uh, that should be familiar for many Windows users. And if you want to look for something, you could either go up here. This is your favorites. And then just go into applications and start searching. And if you want to see the system monitor. And see how much uh, is being used. So this is the system load and it's only using 0.46 gigabytes, 460 or so megabytes, which is a lot better than the standard Ubuntu of uh, GNOME desktop, which uses over one gigabyte. So if you have a computer that doesn't have a lot of memory, or if you just want to save the uh, memory for other things like cloud services and graphics cards, proprietary graphics, and so on. Oh, it jumped 0.54 gigabytes now. And if you want to see what processes are using most of the memory, it's Plasma Shell, and this was using it. So this is actually pretty good for 
a light desktop kitty used to be a heavy resource or it had the reputation of using a lot of resources but now it's one of the lighter desktops and it still has is full featured but as you can see it just has the email one browser it has VLC and some disk burning it doesn't have a lot of stuff because it's a minimal install and if you want to install for example LibreOffice go into I think it's system that I'll be in discover and the easy way is to use this so we want for example an office Libre Office. There's Libre Office. So you would just select the base one and look it over. Then install if you want to install it. Something else you might want to use is Thunderbird if you want to all your emails in one application there it is down here and there's other email stuff too of course that's interesting Anyways, so this is how you install many commonly used programs. And if, uh, for example, you want Google Chrome, then you would have to download the DEB file and from the internet using my Firefox, which comes with this, and then uh, install it. Can't think of anything else to show. These are the uh, status and notifications, and if you want information on your system, another you also have Muon Package Manager, which is like Synaptic. It's a little bit more complicated but it has more features and that's it and when you want to leave you can either you go to the start menu click leave and then you could either log out lock could reboot shut down and here we'll shut down thank you for watching this is uh, Ubuntu 1804 with the minimal installation